None like it hot! <laughs> You're probably wondering why your ice cream went away. Well, Susie, the culprit isn't foreigners, it's global warming. Global Wapo? Yeah. Meet Mr. Sunbeam. He comes all the way from the sun to visit Earth. Hello, Earth. Just popping in to brighten your day. La, 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 la. And now, I'll be on my way. Not so fast, Sunbeam. We're greenhouse gases. You ain't going nowhere. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, God, it hurts! Pretty soon, Earth is chock full of sunbeams. They're rotting corpses heating our atmosphere. <laughs> How do we get rid of the greenhouse gases? Fortunately, our handsomest politicians came up with a cheap, last-minute way to combat global warming. Ever since 2063, we simply drop a giant ice cube into the ocean every now and then. Just like Daddy puts in his drink every morning. And then he gets mad. Of course, since the greenhouse gases are still building up, it takes more and more ice each time. Thus solving the problem once and for all. But... Once and for all! Picture this, a blue planet protected by a thin layer of atmosphere that keeps temperature, air, and water in perfect balance to maintain life. In the cold depths of space, this planet is a virtual paradise, the only one known of its kind, and it is our planet, Earth. But something is wrong. The life-sustaining systems on this planet are breaking down. What happened? Us. Human civilization and our relentless consumption has brought this planet to the brink. But specifically, our destructive addiction to one single resource may push us over the edge. And that resource is oil. Oil is essentially ancient sunlight. Since the dawn of time, plants captured sunlight. After billions of years of decomposing in the earth, this fossilized sunlight became a fuel, oil, coal, or gas. This ancient sunlight has become modern civilization's battery pack. The problem is, oil is a finite resource. We are running out of the very thing our society is dependent on in order to function. But worse, our burning of oil and other fossil fuels has dumped over 700 billion tons of carbon pollution into the atmosphere, as if it were a sewer. We are altering life on this planet as we know it. How? The accumulated pollution causes the atmosphere to trap more of the sun's heat. The Earth's surface temperature is actually going up. This is what is known as global warming. Warming, that almost sounds inviting. That in a world 20 years from now, we will all be living in a tropical paradise where the extent of our problems will be pondering which SPF sunscreen to use. But don't be fooled. Thousands of climate scientists agree that global warming is not only the most threatening environmental problem, but one of the greatest challenges facing all of humanity. The 1990s alone have been the warmest decade of the entire millennium. Temperatures have already gone up by one degree Fahrenheit in the last century. Maybe that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. It only took four small degrees to shift us out of the last ice age. When you turn on the TV and you hear about killer heat waves, extreme weather conditions, freak storms, drastic flooding of cities, rising sea levels, giant chunks of ice breaking off from the Antarctic, coral reefs bleaching out and dying, make the connection global warming and climate change. In the face of this disaster, what have big corporations and politicians done about it? In 
unfortunately, not enough. The fact is they've gained too much money and power off our addiction to oil. This makes them dangerously resistant to change. But are we? We must demand a separation between oil and state. We can get off oil and slow down global warming. We can use energy more efficiently and support renewable, clean energy sources. New green technologies that don't burn carbon like hydrogen fuel cells, wind and solar power. We can vote for leaders who care about protecting your health, the air and the environment. We can support nonprofits who are making a difference. We can be environmentalists. So get educated, stay educated so we can think for ourselves and join the fight to save this unique blue planet.